So I'm going to get to a question here from a viewer, and it's again on procrastination. And what it refers to is, I talked in the past about my method for beating procrastination, and it is basically to stop, <laughs> to put it simply, right? The, the, the controversial part of my approach really is as soon as you procrastinate on a task, you basically put in a, a boundary with it and say, okay, look, I'm stepping away from this now. And I'll come back to that tomorrow. I've tried today, I procrastinated, I have to stop. And that's the consequence. There's a lot to it. Um, it's, it's as simple as that really, to be frank. Um, but to explain that fully to people, sometimes it takes a book, right? And let me show you my book here. This is uh, Procrastination Decoded. And I outline my approach to overcoming procrastination in the book. But I have a question here from, I think it's Bela. And uh, Bela uh, has implemented this. So I guess for Bela it was, they realized, okay, I keep, I keep telling myself I'm gonna start, I keep moving the time, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And they've stopped doing that and now they're being more consistent with the work, okay? It's counterintuitive, I realize that. It's completely counterintuitive. You know, the typical advice we get is to, oh, I have to do it, do more, do more. You need to do it, you need to do it. And of course that doesn't work. If that worked, it'd be pretty simple to solve this issue. The truth is, it is pretty simple to solve. And as long as you know the dynamics of procrastination. But Bela says, okay, I get it. Um, I, I did that and it worked. But what they're struggling with now is they're not making any commitment to set an, an appointment to, to, to do their project, okay? So you do have to pick a time in my system, right? I tell people just pick a time and you either show up and do it, which is fantastic, or you don't show up and do it, and then you put that consequence in of, that's it, I'm walking away from it now. Okay, because what we're, we're, we're trying to do is stop reinforcing that habit of procrastination itself, which is what I meant by just stop. Okay, just stop doing it. And you'll find after two or three days of implementing that approach, your nervous system realizes that when a decision is made, it needs to be followed through on, or else it isn't. Okay, it's non-negotiable. So Bill's problem is, Okay, he's doing that, but he's now stopped setting a start time at all. Okay, so what I would say about that is pretty simple. I get it. I get that there's a reluctance to just pick a time for yourself now at this point, okay? Or you notice that you're, you're procrastinating on picking a time for that. And I want you to take all the pressure off yourself. I want you to see setting, picking a start time for yourself as almost even not up to you, okay? It's like, okay, I'll pick, pick a start time, give myself plenty of rest and I'll pick a start time. And you almost want to be turning the tables on the, the inner voice that leads to procrastination, that inner critic. You almost want to be picking a start time to test it. Put all the pressure on that inner critic, okay? Almost like you're calling it out, almost like you're hoping you procrastinate, right? I know it sounds a bit strange, but it's like, let's just see where I am with this today. And if I don't show up, that's fine. But picking the time itself, just call out that inner critic. The inner critic is the thing that tells you, you know, you know various contradictory things that really lead to the paralysis in the first place. So if you can just say to yourself, okay, I'm going to pick a start time, but it's not up to me really if I do it or not. It either gets done or it doesn't. But one thing is for sure, there'll be no more procrastination, right? So the voice that's telling you not to commit to a start time is the procrastination voice trying to make you procrastinate through the back door. So take all the pressure off yourself, right? Just pick it and call it out. Just see it as it's not even up to me whether it gets done or not. So. I'm hoping that that is an approach. One, one other thing to think about with that is to show you that that voice telling you not to pick a start time at all is the procrastination voice. It's telling you, oh, you need to pick a time, you need to pick a time, right? That's what it'll sound like, and then you're not picking the time. Realize something, it's, it feels like you're not making a decision to start, okay? 
there's already been a decision at that point not to start and it, this the decision is i'm not going to start okay so you can't really avoid making decisions in this you either pick a time or you don't those are the two decisions those, the two choices there's always a choice being made you either choose to choose or you choose to not choose okay put it that way kind of a bit meta here right but really it's you can't lose with this just call out that inner critic oh pick a time let's just see i don't know like this thing about promising myself oh i have to show up at that time the truth is when we're when we're rehabilitating procrastination we actually don't know if we're going to show up at that time when we pick it that's what it feels like at the beginning right i don't know if i'm going to show up so just don't worry about it just say well let's just see today let's just test this out do it as an experiment but i know if i don't show up to do it I'm finished. I'm walking away from this. I'm no longer going to do this game of shifting the boundary with work all day long, tormenting myself, beating myself up with that. So, Bill, let me know what you think about that and let me know if that is helpful. And I know that a few people have, have had a little stumbling block on that at the beginning, but um, basically it's to choose to make the choice. To, to be more assertive with that inner critic voice, okay? Call its bluff. Put all the pressure on it to see what happens. Take all the pressure off yourself because you either show up in your work or you don't. And both of those options are fine. The only thing we're interested in is stopping this shifting boundary all day long. That's it. As soon as that's resolved, procrastination ends and, it hap and you become 10 times more productive than in the past, okay? So Bill, I hope that was helpful. And guys, if you want to check out my book, the link is in the description in this video. And thanks a million for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.